Freeze, Jeets. It's a mog or get mogged world now. <laughs> Baby dolls, welcoming you. Sit on your squeaky chair, please. I've got a juicy episode for you today. What is going on with Mog? We're going to go through some juicy, juicy stuff, friends. Right now, let's have a quick look at the price action. Look what happened here. So on Pulse Chain, it had a whopper of a big move, like 18x. But there's more to that than meets the eye, friends. So firstly, if you look at on these short hour time frames, everything looks like it's about to collapse. But if you go back and look at a weekly and just put it on a log chart, you can see, okay, it's just discovered higher prices. Now, of course, these things can always do these big fat retracements. Of course, they can. But there's actually more than that, friends. What I'm going to show you is this, okay? So Mog went blitz mode. What happened, okay? I oh, mean, i got a juicy episode for you today. So in this picture, I'm going to show you. I actually spoke and made videos about Mog one, two, three times. No one cared. No one cared. On the fourth time, though, pop, 18x, something happened. Okay, something happened. What happened? Like, look at that again. How come whenever I mention it, I liked it, it's all right, no one really cares. And then for the, some reason, bang, that appeared, okay? Got the answer here for you. So it's very interesting. So if you have altcoins, if you're in Richard Hart coins, if you're in Pulse Chain, okay, Hex, let's listen to this, okay? So <clears throat> that is obviously, this is, pul this is Mog on Pulse Chain, friends. Of course, it's a Mog or Get Mogged world, baby. Now, in that picture, right, the market wasn't reacting. But in the, in, the, in the first few times, friends, one, two, or three, Mog on Ethereum, okay, it wasn't at the big, big, big valuations yet. Look at this. It was only around 150 million market cap the first time. You see that? So first it had shown as the speed it went up, and then it just the market has to figure out if this move is real or not. Now, in this period of time, it goes up and it hits almost 1 billion market cap. By the way, it ain't done yet. Mog's not done. It's just that there's too much powerful mind share. So Mog on Ethereum had not done its big full beast mode pump yet, as I mentioned. And Morad's super cycle thesis, it was not out yet to the world. Okay, so obviously my meme coin super cycle thing, community is the asset, memes, cults, religions, everything I've been speaking about, that's me, okay, that, that's me. But there was not, we didn't have this nicely presented, big presentation out here to basically sh talk to the normies and the mid-curvers and tell them why they're wrong. That's pretty much what Morad did. Okay, so shout out to Morad. Now, Mog, friends, is tokenized victory. So it's a, it's a natural fit to Pulse Chain because the whole chain's about Mog and everyone, okay? That's literally what everyone does. They celebrate every tiny little green candle. So I'm very happy to see such a move. Can a big move happen on the Pulse Chain core coins like that? Now, of course, friends, because of the market caps and liquidity, that's like 18x in like freaking like a week, okay? But uh, maybe one day you do get such a big, uh, ferocious move, okay? Knowing how Richard Hart deploys and stuff, I don't think he's just going to spike things up. It's going to be more slowly. But I'm just showing you that it's impossible to predict this ignition. So you just, you just have to buy and hold and believe. That's it. So... One, two, three, and look, I just took the fourth one and just started moving up, okay? So this is obviously Morales showing you the power of Mog, even on Pulse Chain, okay? Here is Donald Trump mogging, there you go, and then you have the Mog on Ethereum, okay? So it's it's a fantastic meme, and it's got, look, it started on Ethereum, yeah, but it's got amazing product market fit, especially uh, in the Pulse Chain spirit and community. So here I am just telling everybody to Mog the non-believers, right? But it's also funny, friends, you see how you have Mr. Psychedelic Catfish saying, I uh, higher. I appreciate your video calling it 225 market cap. I aped immediately two minutes after your video dropped. We are in the phase of the bull. Ape first, research later. So this is, I got my moggles on. That's cute. They call them moggles. So this is the thing, friends. I got my moggles as well, brother. Now, I, I don't like that ape first, think later stuff. I don't do that, okay? I've just, it was the fourth time, man. Like, why was it that time you all had this spark? I don't know, friends. It could be Bitcoin, $70,000 around that, right? It could be just it's been enough time. Mog on Ethereum. Now it's it's mentioned everywhere. Maybe it's something they just watch my videos because they, they get it now. They get it. So that's why I'm telling you, if you're holding Pulse Chain Core Coins or you're on Pulse Chain Ecosystem, when we say Hex is a better Bitcoin, okay, survived minus 99%. When I tell you Matty Allen has a Pulse Chain and a Hex conference, when I tell you this is a very shiny necklace, shout out to Yane, and you have Pulse X as well, the best DeFi utility mid-curve coin that mid-curve could ask for, but it's not a mid-curve coin. First, it's got sex in it. Elon Musk copied the logo for Twitter, and it has a hyper buy and burn, okay? So all these things are happening and working. So maybe, friends, I've made like 4,000 videos almost now. 
if you check out this selection here, 3,900 bidders, almost a 4,000. What's it going to take? I don't know. I don't know. That's why I told you, if you just buy and believe, you will make it. Your, the, the energy, the passion, it, we're onboarding everybody in here. Everyone's joining the community. And I've got to remind you, Pulse Chain community is the greatest. We have the best and most loyal members, strongest cult in crypto. Think big picture. When Pulse is 25x higher, we will unlock heaps more adoption waves. So friends, I also have MOG on Ethereum. I love it. But yeah, it's like it almost hit 1 billion market. What are you going to do about it now? So obviously you should still own it. It's still great, right? Because you, you don't, man, if these things are going to go to like more ads thesis, they all go like towards uh, 30 billion to 150 billion market cap. Also, shout out to my baby doll, Hexagon Hill. This is an amazing picture. MOG with the cute cat. Okay, it's like a cat coin MOG. It's not really a cat coin, but it's, it's, it's tokenized victory, man. It's much more than that. So as you can see, this is just an example, friends, of what happens when you keep the vibes up and things get exciting. But I just want to show you, friends. So you're, if you watch me, you get the highest value content in crypto. I showed you the crypto tier list, right? You have Somi ST and then everything else lower, as I jokingly put it out here. But it's actually not really joking, okay? Because I'm here 18 hours a day doing the research. Somi's S plus two, everything else is E. E, because they're all too rich, guys. You guys are just too rich. You're selling some sort of big service. You're doing this. I'm showing everyone we can make value here. There is value here. I can understand. We can, friends, we're, I'm breathing in and out with the market. I feel the emotions up and down. We're not trading back and forth. Georgie, okay? It's always, Georgie always comes out. Whenever the market drops, Georgie comes out and starts whinging. Georgie, you're going to stop whinging, bro. When you stop, uh, unfollow me. Unfollow me, Georgie. It's starting to get annoying. Every time the market drops, Georgie comes and says, why don't you tell us to sell? Like, bro, it's not over. What are you talking about? Why did you tell us to sell? Okay, you don't quit now. How many times did I tell you 2025? Okay, so you all get it, friends. But of course, some people are just not going to get it. Now, I want you to contrast this to some crypto Twitter drama going on here, friends. What I'm going to show you is it's going to be, there's an interview, there's an <clears throat> interaction here between Ran and another big influencer, Wizard, Mr. Wizard. So I'm going to show you this. So Ran posts, I think Crypto Wizard is obsessed with me. Should I send him pictures of my feet? And then he shows that Wizard was basically calling him out on stuff. And then he says, tell me I was wrong here. So I'm going to now show you the next picture. So Mr. Wizard posted about this Scrat coin. See Mr. Wizard in here, he goes, hey, Scrat is a scam or something. And then Scrat does this. Okay, Scrat does this. And look what happens next. So this is the next part. Okay, so Mr. Wizard shows a DM from Crypto Banter's intern. Okay, look at this. So he says, you already DM'd me before in case you forgot. Say no more. He goes, hey, where's I am Angela with the Crypto Banters Deal Flow Opportunities team. I would like to connect you with David Airy, our head of partnerships. We currently have a specific project opportunity for you. Let me set up a Telegram group for you and David, friends. And then he goes, Ran, you mean the intern. So friends, I'm just, I'm going to call it like it is. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to tell you how it is. All right. Um, let's go through. So I'm, I'm getting the vibes that uh, Rand, friends, he took a big hit in Luna, in Luna 2022, and he's he's gone really aggressive in terms of sponsorship collecting and the things he might give attention to and not give attention to. Now, that's just my speculation and theory. It could be wrong, okay? I'm just coming from, a, from an honest place, friends. I'm just telling you, like, if your back was against the wall and you lost 110 million, maybe you would be doing the same actions as him. Or maybe you wouldn't, but I'm just telling you that this is one explanation as to why you're seeing a lot of these. Because you're thinking like, Barry, you have a, you, that was 50% of his net worth, by the way. Like, why is a guy with $100 million? Why are you, because remember, if you lost $100 million, it was 50% of your net worth, he's still got $100 million. Why are you talking about these like little sponsorships, uh, scrap stuff? Okay, but look at this. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the thing. Some people are suspecting these private deals are a bribe which helps keep a lid on the criticism and call outs of Crypto Banter Show and their controversial actions. So this, some people are saying, friends, including me, I'm thinking of this, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking, is this a way for, if you're a big influencer, is that how they try to keep a lid on the criticism from the other channels? So they, because it's actually genius for them as a marketing strategy for them, right? It sucks for you and me if you follow it, but it's good for them because what do they do? They set up a team, they got employees, and they get paid from the deal flow and everything's fine. And then that person, the intern, their job is to go message all the influencers. So the influencers, if you are in crypto banter deal flow and you're getting, what's deal flow, friends? It means they get to, they get into the cheaper price ICOs. 
You see, so they get in, uh, they get to buy the coin at like five cents, and then maybe it gets mentioned on Crypto Banter Show, and they'll launch it at like you know twenty cents. So they're already four or five x on side. They have unlocks on side, but that that's that's unfortunately it's a very dark side of crypto. That's just how it works. That's it. But you don't have to participate in that, by the way. Okay, you can actually mog them. Well, there's no ICOs in our stuff. There isn't. And by the way, even in Richard Hart stuff, everybody got the same price. You only got a whale bonus. You see, there's no hidden unlocks or anything. So, so forget Richard Hart stuff. Even if you want to just touch the meme coins, that's what's happening. Okay. So I'm just here to shed this light for you. So what do you what do you think? I want to know what you think. Do you think that's like that's what's happening here in terms of uh, are people being offered deals? Hey, come in this Telegram and like you know each individual ones and they manage each person because that that's probably how it worked, right? You they just set te separate Telegrams for everyone and then maybe everyone's in Maybe the whole industry they're like that. Maybe that's just how they shush during the bull market because they're all in on it and they all collaborate and maybe the criticism comes out. Now, why I thought about this is, I'm going to be honest, Ran, Crypto Banter, if you guys are listening, I'm, try I'm trying to help you guys, okay? I know, I'm, I'm just being honest. I have never in my life seen this amount of negative commentary in a YouTube section in my life, okay? I don't get anywhere near that negative commentary ever in any of my videos, even if like, hey, I think the Tangang coins are cheap. Nah, not even close. Friends, if you go to Crypto Banter stuff, look, friends, I promise, I promise, I first video open, the first video open, look at the comments, look at the comments. This guy is the biggest clown. Ran trying to save his portfolio. I'm up only since I never listened to him. Clickbait with flip-flop banter. What's going on with Arweave? It's been going no sign of stopping, right? Wow, all I can say is here we go again, flip-flop. Look at this. Make up your mind. Sounds complicated. Just by so look at this. Where's my gummy airdrop? This guy got bipolar. He doesn't know anything. Always talk rubbish. Mildly entertaining. Look at all these. I would mildly entertaining, but I wouldn't say alpha pack. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wait, your community is severely overexposed to Soylana. God, I wonder how that happens. Oh my gosh. So friends, this is uh do you see this? Rand tops it loaded. So I'm just telling you this. I know it comes with the popularity, but man, friends, like uh Ivan has 500,000 plus subs. He doesn't get anywhere near like, it's like 99.9%. Ivan's like exactly uh, my stream. Now, friends, this is important because the comment section, it's meant to be people, they're watching the show and you're like, you are it's like that person's in the room with you. Like, hey, like, hey, you're like you're right here and you feel like, we feel like you're talking to them, okay? Because I know you probably feel like I'm talking to you right now in the room. So even if you have bad intentions, you're like, oh, some his voice kind of smoothed me over, right? And maybe his mog glasses, mogged, mogged. Okay, but so for these people to watch and go, you know what? I still feel crap. That that's that's important. Okay, that's that's critical. So I'm just trying to help you guys out here. But I don't know. Maybe you guys. Look, I'm just I'm, I'm trying to speak as if if I was in that position, and maybe maybe something out there. Maybe they have to make some business decisions to to, to change stuff. Okay, so I'm constantly seeing 99% negative comments on Crypto Banter's YouTube section. That friend, that is like fatal reputation because. Man, remember, friends, you know, you know, YouTube, they do auto filtering on a lot of bad things. You know, I don't even see uh, any of the bad comments. They get filtered out somewhere and then I can't even watch them. I can't even view them. It's like, it just, there's too many comments. So, so for all these comments to make it through the filtering, okay, these are just the nice word filters. You know what I mean? They all do the poopy words and the vulgar words. They get auto filtered out, okay? So this is what I think happened, right? As you know, friends, Ran, he binked it. He did really well with Luna, okay? Ran believed in Luna. The whole way. He might, I think he got him from the ICO. He made like a lot of money. The thing is, though, he had like, a, I think something like $100 million up there, and then it dropped 99%. So with the airdrop and stuff, I think maybe he's got like $3 million left or $2.5 million. So, but, but still, it's like it's a $100 million loss, okay, when you think about it, okay? Obviously, because Luna, they did the hyperinflation to save their unpegged currency, and then you got that chart, okay? But with the airdrop and stuff, it's like, you know, he's taken a big loss. So what I think happened is, and by the way, he mentioned this. He said uh, earlier this year, Iran feeling very happy. He said, I've could I've um, almost made back about 70% of all my loss already. Now, when I heard it, I mentioned it. And actually, a lot of Pulse Chain community members, you guys, that like alerted everybody. And you guys started talking about it a lot. And I, I just said it as one of those things. I go, oh, wow, Ran said he's made back 70%. And you guys started talking about it a lot. And so I, I recovered it again because then it made me go through the information. I'm like, wait a minute. How does someone make back $70 million of a $100 million loss 
And like he wasn't long Peppy. He wasn't long the unicorns. What what was he doing? And obviously, friends, I, I'm just speculating. Uh, part of the, I guess, the deals are, and this is the way it works, because you got a lot of mouths to feed, you got like officers. I'm speculating he did a lot of aggressive deals and sponsorship reach outs to get back all his losses. That's what I think he started doing. So he, he sat down, he's like, hey, my back's against the wall. I want to make back my 100 million. How am I going to make my 100 million? I go, I know. Uh, maybe he did a lot of, I'm not saying he's a shady person. Okay, you guys can be the judge of that. Okay, I'm just saying maybe he let himself get involved with a lot of shady deals. Maybe he let a lot of people pay him up front. He's like, you know what? Screw the oversight because look what you guys all did to me in the lunar collapse. And you know what? I don't know how I could react. No, only Ran knows how that feels, friends, to be a hundred million dollars long. And then he he just he didn't want to exit, clearly, because he believes in it and it was working. He doesn't want to just exit all of it. He's like, okay, sweet, I've got to take profit slowly, and then just went to zero, just overnight. Okay. So maybe he's in things with low oversight. And I wrote low empathy and straight out savagery. So that's also a part of it. But he's thinking like, you know, um, it's it's a game. This is how it is. But there are side effects now of this. You're starting to see, see the comment section. But that was, that was the first video I opened up. Bang, 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 bang. By the way, every video is like that. Every video is like that. I've been noticing it for about four months now. Four months. Four months ago, it was about 50-50. And I just thought, oh, it's the bottom and it's going to reverse. Actually, it wasn't. Actually, now it's just 100% bad comments pretty much. Um, I'll give you an example, friends. So Ran received Sui tokens that I call Pui. And like, I'm just going to be honest with you, dude. Ran, he's, he made an episode. He had to cover the meme coin super cycle. Okay, so Randy Boot should be covering my channel as well. <laughs> if you want to do meme coin super cycle, cults, memes, cults, religions. Okay, everything I'm speaking about. Communities, the asset, not the code. But then in his post, the next day... He says, you know, I think the meme's going to zero anyway. I don't think the... He, literally, next day, next one or two days, after the meme coin super cycle episode, he goes, uh, I think the institutions aren't going to buy these coins. They're going to buy these coins instead. And it's coins, obviously, he owns. But that's, that's okay. That's the game. But when he said, look for coins with passionate communities and all these, he put Pui. Bitcoin, Soilana, Pui. He removed the theorem, by the way. And I'm thinking, Pui? They don't have a community, bro. Like, there's you... And there's Raul Powell, and there's, there's and and there's Arthur Hayes. I don't know who. One of you, what two or three of you, they're on the board, or they got token unlocks. Go community, Pui. So it just it made me ask questions. Now, when I went to Pui friends, okay, a lot of the tokens were locked up, and they had like this flush up. And look, I'm looking through all these, and before I was even doing this move. A lot of the volume was once again that inventory arbitrage stuff we always speak about. But, but I'm looking at these coins, bro. They're all the little, they're all like these little third world country Asian JPEG rug coins. Blub, Scuba Dog, Pooey Trump. And it's kind of funny, right? I'm looking at one of these meme coins. Look at these friends. They they sweep it up at the very, very start and they start shilling it after. It's kind of funny. It happens on Soila and everything else out here. So you have these like, I'm, I'm confused. Like strong community. What's going on? And then obviously you just put two and two together, friends. That's just, that's the game. Now... Pui, Kraptos, Molestia, all these, they have an advantage over the older chains because they're cycle one. But when I'm looking at it, I'd, I'd start to ask questions. I thought, well, I've never he heard anybody talk about a Pui community, but I tag Sui all the time. Nobody comes out to defend them. Do you want contrary to that? Go tag, go tag Hex and see what happens to you. <laughs> go tag Pulse Chain, just an example. So it just leaves me scratching my head with these, but it's not really scratching my head. I know, man, they paid. They paid. They got the exchanges in. They got the big, big, big name KOLs. They got million sub KOLs on. That's it. So obviously there was some stuff going on. So um, it, it's possible as well. Maybe he's on the Soilana payroll. They are. So there is a secret pay payroll, by the way, friends. A few people have revealed it, uh, but they, they deny it publicly, but there is. Okay. But it doesn't really matter. You know, it's just everyone, will, if Ethereum guys talk bad about it, it's code. But like, yeah, they always show, hey, Bankless, you got like 150 VCs. So like, it's, it's the same thing, right? So Maybe, oh, oh, I've got to tell you one thing as well. Ran is in Brett. And if you remember Brett, friends, Brett is now, they call it the Cabal main coin. But you have Crash in there. Now, Crash, friends, it's controversial. Why? It's because they own a lot of the supply. Okay. And even I was coming out saying, guys, like, owning a lot of supply, yeah, if they dump, it sucks. But if they don't dump and they keep the friendship team going it ends up being really good. 
and I can show you that now. So if you look at Brett, friends, that's why a lot of people have said, how is it something with this much market cap, only 4 million liquidity, but they're on exchanges and stuff. But like, so Randy Boo, he's in the ICO for that. But so you kind of think, oh, you're given a uh, meme coin ICO. How come you still aren't running with the meme coin ID? I guess it's because the other meme coins, they just don't have enough. They don't have enough people there thinking long term. You know, Brett is different. Brett's like one of the unicorn winners, but the rest don't. And now it just leads you to think, all right, uh, maybe he's taking back his seven pounds of flesh. You see, friends, so maybe he's doing that. That's why I'm, I'm helping you understand where incentives are, okay? Because someone who's lost 100 million, to make back the 100 million, they might do whatever it takes, you see? But for, <clears throat> for you and I out here, we are looking in a blue ocean area. We haven't lost 100 million, okay? In fact, you just think, oh, well, the possibilities are infinite, endless. And I'm showing you long-term value creation. And we don't go switching meme coins every 15 seconds like the rest of people. Like the rest of people, we treat them all like our babies, our own children, and we foster the growth in them. And yeah, there's these FUD cycles and stuff that turns around. But just because prices go cheap doesn't mean things are bad. It just means they're cheap. So in a nutshell, right, what I'll do is play some pump music just to remind everyone. Respect the pump, friends. We're going to mog them. Okay, we're going to mog them. Mog the non-believers. But... <sighs> uninformed investors are paying full price for this lesson. Most coins are straight robbery. Okay, so that's the world you're in. Like if you're hearing about these coins from channels out here, and by the way, I sh I'm appreciative that we can actually, s I can actually see this here. Like what about all the other ones we don't know about? What about all the other big KOLs? They're like, oh, that guy got blown apart. You know what I mean? Or they're just... You see what I mean? This is why it's a, it's a dirty it's, it's a dirty game. It's unfair advantage. Um, I also found this interesting. Meme coins were consistently faded by Rand. But look, he does he does like a lot. But he I don't know if it's just his personality. Uh, but he'll switch f very fast. I mean, you know, Bitcoin <clears throat> was a meme, bro. You know, Bitcoin went the meme cult religion part. Why is it so hard to see that other things are trying to do that too? Well, you might say, oh, but they're all going to zero. Yeah, you mean like every other utility in DeFi coin we bought last cycle? They all went to zero too in the bear market. It's the same thing. It's just that people get to buy these things cheap. But here's the thing, friends. Look, the secret is, you know, when I tell you, friends, one of the most profound things I said, which none of the mainstream guys will say, I say the only difference between VC coins and meme coins is, see, they're both scams, but the difference is meme coins are a cheap scam memes and culture money, they're cheap scams, okay? And VC coins are expensive scams, okay? They don't talk about it. Nobody talks about it and mention And I'm wondering why I'm listening. I'm going, why don't you ever drop my point? I know you're listening. I know you're watching. And I go, oh, I know why. You don't want your audience to think that way. You don't want your audience to think a $380 million market cap is expensive. You don't want them to even think about the cheaper alternatives, you don't want them to think about a two or three million dollar mog on Pulse Chain. You don't want to even think about Hex, Pulse Chain, Pulse X could do a 20, 30x from here. You don't want to think about, you know, Pulse Chain is like 15x away to flip Cardano. That relative message. Now, I don't know, friends, if it's just financial incentives or they're nefarious. They just want to keep it dumb or they just don't know. They Maybe they just don't know. Okay. You're going to have to make that decision for yourself. Um, I also invite you to think about this. So since Ran, right, he's made back like 70 million of his $110 million loss. How do you think it's going to end from here? Do you think like he's, he's the, it's a bit, it's a bit cruel to think about this. Like Ran smart crypto banter organization is well looked after. He could pivot back and just be like, sorry guys, let's move on. And then everyone just moves on. You know what I mean? So he makes back his 70 mil, maybe like letting a few things slide. Maybe like, you know, that maybe that guy looks a bit dodgy, but he paid me anyway, so whatever, just to grab every single dollar he can. Uh, you know, but I, I, I th it hurts me to think about all those people. They're learning the lesson, a full price lesson the hard way. You know, that's life, I guess. Maybe these people, friends, they came across me. They go, hey, you look like a retard. You got a Pikachu hat. I go, yeah, yeah. How about this? How about a Pikachu hat guy with mog glasses with a Jeet gun to take on the Jeets? You like that? See, friends, they call me a retard. I triple down on being a retard. I, I don't care what they think, okay? Because 
These people are mid curvers. All right. Um, it's very obvious now. Most people they just don't give a damn about you, man. They don't give a damn about you, fans. And you know what's interesting? Every single time I say that, I hear some whispers going around. One out of ten people get jealous who have an audience, and then they don't believe me, and they try to call me out. I go, oh, he doesn't care about you. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Just, and then you know, oh, you're the guy or the girl. You're the guy or the girl who's like a full vulture. People who, who think I'm doing that. You want to know why? Because these people, friends, it's just like if you're in the fiat world, you can't imagine Bitcoin keeps going up. Because they all think they will dump it to go buy Bit to buy, go buy the fiat. And we go, bro, you're, they're printing the infinite fiat. We don't, we don't, dump, you don't dump Bitcoin or crypto. You collect them over time, right? It's a savings account, not this like jeet stack that you guys have been doing in fiat land. Okay, see how their brains are just like rotten. They can't imagine that. Um, same as people who don't believe in UFOs, like they can't even imagine that Neil deGrasse Tyson eh, 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 is lying about cold fusion theory and about anti gravity and all this other stuff. They can't imagine that their brains just. That they just can't accept that. Just like friends, all the soy boys for Harris. When a lot of people said they were shocked when they watched a Joe Rogan, Donald Trump interview at how normal Donald Trump was. Because they're like, oh, I thought he was like a racist and then he hated people and he was a buffoon and all these. And like, this is the norm most normal guy. Yes, friends. Yes. It was funny. Even Alex Jones was saying about Donald Trump. They go, the guy's a hotel guy. Do you understand customer service in hotels? If one thing goes wrong for the customer to whinge, everything goes to zero. You have to literally always be listening to the customer. And he's, he, he, like he, his whole life is about holidays and hotels. Why the hell do you think this guy wants to go just nuke the world? That's literally not his personality, right? You see how I'm seeing you with these paradigm shift friends? That's why a lot of people that come in, they find me. Yeah, ST, congratulations. But when you're looking at these other people, think for yourself, man. And by the way, don't trust me. Don't trust me. I always say, friends, I'm like the only guy, don't trust me. Don't trust me. Do your own research, okay? If if something goes up 2x and you're nervous, it's okay. Just get out half. Just get out half so you stop worrying, okay? The best portfolio is the one that helps you sleep at night, okay? But I'm not going to apologize if prices go down or whatever, okay? I'm not apologizing for my conviction, okay? Because this is who I am. This is how you get, this is how you make it in markets, okay? So you've learned a lot today. <clears throat> Navigating these sea of influences, some are nefarious, Everyone's just trying to make their own way. But there's an actual barometer here. Are they here 18 hours a day? No. Not even close. I'm here 18 hours a day. They're not here 18 hours a day. They're throwing you these bullshit models from the old cycles. Saying, oh, don't worry. Bitcoin's going to go really high and be able to rotate to all these altcoins. Dude, you're not going to be able to rotate crap. These people don't even know how to find meme coins on Pulse Chain, for example. Do you think they honestly have a chance in this world? They have no chance. They're going to have to take their crappy little positive beta in a bull market, rotating into some of the large caps, which are going to be diminishing hard. It's, friends, it's the most hated super cycle of all time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's most hated. Okay. You have the advantage now, though. Let me know when you think, friends. What did you think even about, what did you think about this message? Like, hey, I want to invite, like, it's, it's a bit, to me, it's it's a bit strange. Someone's being antagonistic to me. The last thing I'm going to do is go, hey, let me invite you to my team. Well, you get a deal for you. Basically, you get to buy a cheaper price. You tell everyone about it. And then I kind of like, I buy you a bit, you know? Now, I haven't checked my DMs in a long time, like months. I don't check, like a long, I, I don't check DMs. It'd be funny if I had like 15 messages from crypto bands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I'm not ghosting anybody. I just I don't check the DMs, okay? They're just they're blowing up thousands of thousands of posts per day. But <sighs> aren't you glad I've taught you this though? Who else is teaching us this? No one. No one. All we get are the hindsight mid-curve cucks who come in after everything's collapsed, after the bull market's over, after you've lost all the money. That's when the cucks come out. And they say, oh, no, um, the industry is full of grifters and scammers. Bro, shut up. All of you shut up. Not a single one of you has called these people out in 2021. Not a single one of you has said anything, okay? And now all these grifters and scammers are coming out. I've got a fluffy microphone. All of them are just shutting up. Mogged. Make sure you like, subscribe. Don't forget he loves you. Catch you in the next one.